Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to expand the size of our fields and plant hay. Uh, so, <clears throat> if you haven't been watching the previous episodes, uh, we have a, a field here that we just harvested canola on a couple episodes ago, and then we have another field across the way that's limed, but otherwise not um, doesn't have anything on it. And then around the corner, there is a cornfield, uh, field 49 here, which I'm going to actually leave the corn in place and harvest it when the time comes, and then we'll plow this field up and plant hay there too. Uh, so currently, uh, this is the entirety of our farming empire here. <laughs> so it's slowly growing. And uh, yeah, we're just having a great time with this game. So uh, one thing I do want to do though is um, does that other field actually require, uh, lime? Nope. Uh, so we're going to plow all, plow these two fields under and, you know, some of the area around it too. And then we're going to lease the stone picker because we're going to have a lot of stones we're going to have to pick up too. But, um, I don't, I don't think really lime and all that kind of stuff comes into play if you convert it to grass anyways, because I've had you know, these three fields have been grass for um, over, I'd say over a year in game. And, um, we haven't had to do anything more with that. So I think, uh, yeah, I think we'll be good to go. So anyway, um, I'm going to pretty much just time lapse this. We'll put some music on and, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the montage. Let's get to it. Headed out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home again I'll never own no Time boys, listen to my song. You may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and sit on it. Somehow, on 
unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say are done with the plowing uh, let's just take another spin around this way and make sure that is indeed the case yeah it's looking pretty good okay pretty good um, we got some stuff over here we need to fix from the mulcher so let's do that actually hold on let me save first and uh, yeah that went pretty well overall I did uh, nail some of the corn plants unfortunately but I was more concerned about you know just getting the field done and not worrying too much about that uh, so let's see let's go to landscaping painting and Maybe we'll try this uh, pattern here. Let's increase the size of it a bit. Okay, and then go to round and back down a little bit here. That needs to be gravel. And then we'll just put some plants here grass all right that looks pretty good uh, I'm not really worried about that spot there we should probably fix this though oh I put <laughs> I put flowers down there that's not quite what I meant to do but hey we'll leave a couple there all right, and then let's go over here and fix this. And maybe not so big.
Okay, and then we'll put some grass in here. Maybe a couple flowers here and there. Oh, that's plenty of flowers. And maybe some of these little shrubs too. There, that looks pretty good. I think we can live with that. Um, I had a I had quite a challenge trying to get the this line here to look good. It still still doesn't look as good as I'd like it to, but you know, I I tried to smooth it with the paint, and then I tried to smooth it with the the plow, and then back to the paint, and I just couldn't completely remove that kind of serrated edge look to it. There's if I really worked hard at it, I probably could, but um, I think it's you know I think it's good enough. So anyway, here's kind of like a little bird's eye view of the field. Uh, we didn't cause major damage to the corn. We did lose a little bit of it, but I think it's a you know it's fine because we're gonna plow all that under when the time comes to. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So this is our new hay expansion, and this will be added to that once the corn itself is harvested. But it's looking good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're just trying to maximize uh, our use of space here. And, um, you know, it's tight, but it's kind of the way we've been doing things. <laughs> Everything's tight over here, too. So, all right, nifty. So, uh, next step is to pick up stones. So, we're going to lease a stone picker. And I think we're finished with the mulcher, uh, and we're we're also finished with the subsoiler. But I might hang on to them just for a little bit longer, just in case something happens um, before we actually turn them in. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that off and. I'm just going to lease the big stone picker. Um, oh, actually, hold on. We got that We got that cheap one uh, that we found, huh? I forgot about that. Let's go here. And, uh, okay, so this picker, yeah, this one here. This one has five and a half meters. That one's only 2.7 meters. But look at the difference in the in the price, though. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna take a little bit longer to do it, but it's only gonna cost us $173. So we're gonna use that one. Alright, so yeah. This is actually a front attached um implement too. Um, okay, so you are not attaching because I don't believe it needs, uh, maybe I'm too close. I don't believe it needs to have a, um, the front loader. It's just a, attaches to the three point. Hmm. Do I have to do it this way? All right, what kind of shenanigans are going on here? I know I've had this attached to the to the um, McCormick before. Pretty sure it doesn't need the front loader, so why can't I attach it? Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get the McCormick and see. It works with that because I've used it with the McCormick before. So I'm a little corn fused here. Yeah, that just requires the three point hitch, it doesn't require the front loader.
let's drop off the mulcher here. But again, I'm going to hang on to this stuff for just a little bit longer, just in case. Drop off this here. Detach hose. Oh, right. I don't think there's any difference between the front of the Massey and the, or Massey um, McCormick and the New Holland, but let's just see what happens. Well, what is the difference between the front end of that and the front end of this I wonder is this too high off the ground maybe that's what it is I mean it doesn't matter we can use the McCormick yeah all right we'll just use the McCormick then that's weird though Let's just go out and start on this end here. Oh, I wanted to check my uh, fertilizer. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Pro we'll probably fill that up in, uh, what is it, July? Yeah, in August. Or maybe even tomorrow on the 3rd. We'll see. Okay, so we should be able to just lower that and okay, there's something else we're missing here. Turn oh, we have to we have to turn it on. <laughs> it doesn't there we go, now it's in turned on mode. <coughs> And you, and it actually, like the like the base game, um, stone pickers, it actually creates a seed bed too, which is kind of weird, I guess. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It is kind of combing the soil, I guess. Really see it in first person. All right, it works and it's cheap. If we, uh, I want to look at something here. If we go to the map, um, yeah, see, so so cultivated is this kind of light blue color, and this basically makes the field cultivated. It's really odd. Um, but after we're done with that, then it's going to want lime, because uh, it says that there. Uh, but, of course, we shouldn't have to lime this field because it had lime on it. All right, cool. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go around and stone and cultivate everything we plowed. It's going to take a little while, but we're doing it for dirt sheep, so not too worried about it. And I'll bring you guys back 
when uh, we're done with this and we'll do the next thing. All right, guys, we have finished the, uh, the stone picking and the cultivating um, on the new field here. And so if we look at the man, isn't that just a gorgeous field? It looks awesome. Uh, if we look at the thing here, though, the map, uh, it does show us that these new areas that we plowed need lime. Now, I did a little bit of uh, research on that. And <clears throat> from what I was was able to determine is that if you lime this once and then you plant grass on it and keep the grass on it, you'll never have to lime it again, which is probably accurate only because um, I haven't uh, I haven't had to relime these hay fields since you know since I originally did them. Um, so I think we're gonna do that. Um, the only thing is is the cornfield. Well, the cornfield's probably been limed re fairly recently too. Now that I think about it, but if it isn't, um, you know, we can we can throw some lime down on that too when we eventually plow it under too. So I think what we're gonna do is go get uh, you know, the lime spreader. We're gonna just you know lease it again, and I have a little bit of lime left in the barn, but not enough probably to do the whole thing. And we're just gonna <coughs> excuse me, drive around the outskirts of the field, and you know, throw some lime down. So let's get the one pallet of lime out that I do have first. Um, it is actually the last pallet inside, so we're going to have to um, dig it out. So we'll get that done first, and then we'll get the spreader and, um, and buy some more lime uh, too. the heck man there's like a little dip thing here that I get stuck in with the forklift it's really weird like it sinks down into the ground where the those rocks are upsy daisy <laughs> it's really odd oh man it's a good thing we didn't go any further I would have punctured the pallet actually I don't think that ha happens but it would in real life come on you can do it. Get out. What the heck? I was able to get out earlier. Uh, we just about... <laughs> we could just about do it. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right. It's kind of late at night. I need to get to bed here pretty quick for work, so I've lost my patience. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll legit put these other pallets back, though. Um, actually, we're going to need those afterward on liming to do the seeding, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just leave them. Yeah, actually, let's just leave them right there because we're going to need those. So we are going to need the... Lime spreader, which is this guy. How much is the lease cost on that again? Twenty two ninety five. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on over onto the mod hub real quick and just see if there's something a little less expensive than that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I got this. Um, where is it? This one. Uh, so this is basically a spreader um, by Verniland. I, I don't know if that K is silent or not, probably. Uh, it's it's like the Amazon spreader. Uh, it can go up to 42 meters, but it'll also handle lime. And it's $15,000, which we're not going to buy it, but we're going to lease it. We might buy it later on, uh, but a little bit more reasonable, I think, you know, than what the base game offers, because that you know, I don't like the Amazon, or I'm sorry, not the Amazon, the bread all spreader in the base game for two reasons. One, it's really expensive and it has terrible, uh, it has, uh, you know, not, not very good spread. You know, it's only 12 to 18 meters, so it kind of sucks. 
Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and lease this guy. And that's going to allow us to do that for a reasonable $765, make you hollers. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. Okay. And let's go ahead and... I've got my um, uh, New Holland. i got to work around my New Holland finish and roll in the other field. So we'll use this guy. Um, why don't we swap the weight... To the front so let's do that first and then we'll we'll just see how far we can get with the line that I currently have I don't think I have a lot if I remember correctly but we don't have a lot to do either we just pretty much have to do the outskirts if I like this spreader I might even sell my Amazon and buy this one instead because um, it's got the same width I don't know if the capacity is the same though it looks it looks a little smaller than the, the Amazon that I have and uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what the Amazon's capacity is we could you know we can certainly look it up okay um there we go. It's gonna say there's got to be some a PTO or something on that. All right, so let's raise that up. So yeah, if we compare this to the Amazon, what is the capacity of the Amazon? Here we can just go here. Fertilizer spreaders. So this has thirty-two thousand liters. Uh, we'd only get like two twenty seven hundred bucks if we sold it though. Did I buy that used? Uh, thirty six months. Yeah, I most definitely did buy that used because I I haven't put thirty six months on it. Um, that's right. We had a new one and then we sold the new one and bought the used one and made a little money off of it. I remember that now. So this one here is four thousand liters, but it's physically smaller than the Amazon. So, I don't know, this might be a little OP. But, you know, I've already paid for it, so I'm going to use it this time, but I, I, I don't think that's 4,000 liters. Um, or we could use it and never fill it all the way up. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm going to use it now because we've already, we've already paid for it, so... No, that's only 700 liters. Oh, why did it say 4,000 liters? Or did I misread something? Oh, okay, no, 700 to 1,000 liters. There, I wonder if there, there must be like um, maybe an extra tank you can get for it. I didn't notice that. Okay, no, that's way more reasonable, especially for the price. Okay, cool. Yeah, much, much more reasonable. Okay, but it, as you can see, it does have the 42 meter spread, and it's also... Adjustable, just like the Amazon. So, yeah, really nice um, setup. So, yeah, we have 700 liters in here. So let's see if we can actually make this work without having to, to buy more lime. But if we do, you know, we do. It's not a big deal. So we're going to start on... Here, let's look at the map again. Soil composition. Okay, so yeah, let's um let's just kind of start and go around this border here first, and then we'll see where we're at from there. And we're gonna want to put this on the smallest uh, swath too. Okay. Yeah, that's as that's as small as we can go with it. So, man, we're only eleven percent left now. 
That's okay, though. You get what you pay for, right? It's a lot less money, and I don't mind filling it up a few more times to not have to pay so much money. This always works better from a higher vantage point. Okay, let's go put more in it. I, I have a feeling we're probably not going to have enough lime to do all this without having to get some more. But if we have to get more, we have to get more. We'll eventually have to do the cornfield, and then later on we'll be buying even more fields. So it's not ever going to be a waste Whoops, uh, a waste of money. Okay. I, I don't know how much lime I have in there, actually. Maybe I have more than I thought I did. I thought it was kind of getting close to being empty. We're going to kind of stay in bird's eye view here. It's just a little spot right here that we need to squirt. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, so good. The map shows all of that done. So now we just need to go do this front. And we'll do, we'll do along the other side too, even though it's such a small... Um, area. We might as well just do it and get it done. Okay. You can come, actually come in this way just a smidge too. Oh, we missed that corner, but we'll actually probably hit it when we go down this way. Or we can just kind of squirt it like that a little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to go down here. And we're out right here. Okay, we'll go get some more. Yeah, I should uh, look to see if the, if we could put an extension on it because 700 liters is does kind of run out fast. It definitely makes the Amazon, you know, at least for when we're doing fertilizer contracts, a superior spreader to this one. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, we are definitely going to need more lime. So let's just do, let's just buy another pallet of it right now. Pallets. Uh, no, we don't need pallets. We need bags. Lime. Lime's cheap. In fact, let's get two because I don't think that um, one bag is going to help us, uh, you know, uh, do the corn when the time comes. So we'll just get two right now. Let's finish loading you up. I don't know why I thought this was 4,000 liters. I was looking at the wrong thing, though. Okay, let's start a little further this way because we did miss the... Okay. So we'll just go along the border because that's, you know, where the, all the new plowing is. We obviously don't need to do that field there because it was limed. Oh, crap. Before we, whoops, before we even started it. No, we're out already. Wow. Okay. Let's look at the map and see how we're doing. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to go up the center here, too. But, yeah, this is looking good otherwise. All right. Well, I'm going to keep working on this until the lime is liming is finished, and then it'll be time to plant some hay.
right, that takes care of the liming. Looking good, looking good. Uh, all right, so next is seed eating. We have quite a bit of seed. Um, well, actually, yeah, no, I think we do have quite a bit of seed, actually. Probably, hopefully enough to, to do all of this. So let's pop that out there. We're done with the little spreader for now. Took a few a few trips, but I think, you know, for this size of job, it, it worked out pretty nicely for quite a bit less money, you know, to have to lease it. So I'm pretty pleased with all that. Um, now, um, in the store, I downloaded, and actually did this a while back, a mod, uh, a John Deere Cedar. Uh, which is very reasonably priced. And then actually, it's also a direct drill, too. So it cultivates and seeds at the same time. Not that that matters to us because we've already done that, you know, anyway from the stone picking. Uh, but in the future, you know, it'll be nice for that. So that, you know, the, the end game, the cheapest end game cedar is 33500 And to lease that is 1700 bucks, right? Uh, this one, this John Deere, is only $6,000. Uh, and to lease this is only 306 bucks. So we're going to do it. And uh, yeah, it's also it's also a direct drill. See, it's got the little discs on it there. So I, I think it, you know, it does the cultivating too. Because it says, uh, these machines are used to seed crops. Additionally, the seeder offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. Um, but that's for an existing field. We We had to plow because we had to turn in, you know, the... Uh, that other ground to actual field. All right, so where did this go? Did I not just lease it? Did it put it down at the at the store? Yep, it did. Man, there's a ton of room here. Okay, whatever. I'm hanging on to all this stuff I've leased until the end of the day, just just in case. <clears throat> like you know, maybe I'll run into a spot that I missed or something and then we'll just turn it all in at the very end of the day okay so let's run on down and grab that I wonder how our buddy's doing uh, it looks like they might be a little hung up it's probably because of that billboard maybe okay let's try and what I'm going to actually do is let's make a little bit larger headland right here in front of this billboard and then we'll we'll set them turn them loose on it again well actually you know what never mind I'll, I'll just finish it myself it's not that much left to do all right that takes care of the rolling um we're going to probably need to get a larger roller here fairly soon now that we're expanding our field. Um, or even get a second one of these, and then I can be doing half of it while the AI does half of it. I don't know. All I know is that the bigger our fields get, the longer it's going to take to do this job, and it takes a while. <laughs> it's probably the, the longest thing that we have to do just because the implement itself is, you know, pretty narrow. All right, so let's connect you and you and get you back on your wheels. Uh, both of my tractors are going to need some repairs, and it's going to be expensive, but we're going to have to do it because uh, we've got to keep them in good repair. The We don't want them to get all the way down because then they are incredibly expensive to have to repair. So we'll go park this and then run back over to the McCormick and go get the cedar. Should probably take a look and see what condition the roller's in too. I don't care about the paint, but we do want, you know, we want it to be in good repair though, is the thing. Because I would imagine if this is not in good repair, it just takes longer 
slows down the tractor or yeah whatever something like that probably So let's clean it up. Yeah, I mean, even if I could just get another one of these, then, you know, me and a worker can tag team it. It's been, it's been tolerable on the fields as they currently are, but, you know, as we expand, it's just going to become a bit of a pain in the butt. You know, the, the other thing is I just have the worker do all of it, but that doesn't actually work real well either because... There are certain parts of the field because of their irregular shape that I still need to do for them anyway. Um, and, you know, plus I'm having to pay them for all of it too, so that's always a consideration. All right, that cleans everybody up. Let's see what kind of condition you are in. No, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, I keep hitting the wrong here. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> okay. I wonder if, I think I might have, might have ran into this before. Yeah, because it's inside the the shed it doesn't seem to work so if I remember hopefully I'll check it the next time before we use it uh, so yeah we repaired this right now it's only gonna cost us a little over three grand which is still very expensive but worth it this tractor has been doing some really good work for us as has the McCormick um, in fact I probably might repair the McCormick before we start seeding just so that it we have a little more horsepower uh, okay, so I think we're finished with the New Holland for now. Let's just go ahead and park it. It's nice and clean and repaired. Uh, it does need fuel, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. I'll put it in its, its spot here. Okay, let's run back over to the McCormick, go get our cedar, and then it'll be time to start seeding the field. Wow, look at the width on this thing, too. Really nice. That's going to help. Looks cool, man. Looks cool. I have to assume that these, you know, the people that make these mods are making the this equipment based off of actual real life equipment. Like, is there an actual John Deere 8350 seater? There probably is. <clears throat> or if they're not making making it exactly that, they're probably at least basing it off of, you know, real world equipment like this. That would be my guess. Suppose I could Google it. Um, the other thing about these, this particular cedar too, is it's got like these sidebars that you can fold out, and then you can connect another cedar, and you can kind of run them in, you know, like in parallel, and increase your, double your, your swath. So that's kind of neat too. We don't need that for our fields though. We, our fields aren't that large. Um, oops, I just passed up the seed. Oop. Okay, let's load it up. Okay, so it holds 830 liter. Oh! Is this going to hold fertilizer too? It's got a fertilizer icon. I had no idea it could do that. I wonder if you have to have a separate attachment for it. Huh. 
I don't know that I would want to use this to spread fertilizer though because you know you're not going to have a very wide swath with it oh the most important thing we need to remember to do is change the seed type so the Y and there we go okay now it's set to grass does it have a uh, V is lower cedar oh, okay open cover cool oh I wonder if fer oh, fertilizer must go in the back oh so does that mean you can fertilize the seeds simultaneously now that would be useful we don't need to for the grass um do we here let's let me let me see here whoops actually yeah you know what we we do need to fertilize we don't need to fertilize this area because that was originally grass but this area we do hmm Well, that's definitely going to be worth doing for... Nah, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do it. We, we've got that 42-meter fertilizer spreader. I'll just run that over the fields afterwards. I don't want to mess with it doing this. Because my guess is it pro the fertilizer might not last very long anyway. Oh, uh, can we get across this bridge? <laughs> this, oh, uh, this is going to be tight. This might be one of those scrape the paint moments. Um, um, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay. We'll just pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> Okay, so let's back her up. Yeah, I don't see the option for extending those those bars, but there are these things right here. So these things will flip down and then you can attach another cedar to it, but I didn't see the option for that in the controls, so I'm not sure how that happens. Unless it's is it that, that, or that? Nope. Okay. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Let's get it all the way backed up to the corner here. I love the width on this thing compared to the much more expensive one that we would have otherwise leased. All right. Let's lower her down. Do we have to turn this thing on? We sh doesn't say we have to turn it on. Okay, it looks like it's working. Sounds like it's working. Must be working. Let's double check here. So if we go to here, yep, that shows a uh, seed bed right here. Um, but it should also show grass planted. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's the one we want to double check. All right, guys, let's plant some grass. Okay, that should uh, wrap up the seating. Let's uh, double check on the map here and make sure we didn't miss anything. It looks like we didn't. So this is all green. Beautiful. We have one task left, and that is to just throw some fertilizer down on the original uh, field areas. Uh, because here again, you know, the stuff that we did along the outside is uh, already considered 
fertilized. And, uh, oh, now it wants us to roll. Okay. Well, we can fertile. Yeah, I got to rent a roller to do that. I forgot all about the rolling part of it. Um, so yeah, we got to do that and we got to fertilize, but we could, you know, we can fertilize now. I think I'm, um, I'll do that. And then we need to wrap up this episode cause I've, it's already probably gone too long. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll do the rolling in the next episode, which I will, we still need to want, we still want to do here on July 2nd. So yeah, let's, let's get the fertilizer done and then we'll wrap up this episode and then we'll start the next episode with the rolling. Just, uh, just running out of time here, but man, I sure like this cedar, you guys. It is a really nice implement. Um, I don't know that buying a cedar, especially, you know, it's so inexpensive to lease this. I don't know that buying one makes a whole lot of sense, uh, for us to do, but it's definitely going to be the go-to for quite some time, you know, for leasing when we need to seed new fields. Until the time comes that I'm filthy rich and I can just afford, like, the big massive ones, which isn't going to happen for <laughs> for a while yet. Not likely going to happen for a while yet. So, okay, anyway, yeah, let's, um, let's just drop this off right here. Should be good. And we're just going to go grab the Amazon real quick and just do a couple squirts of fertilizer on the original fields, and then we'll be... Well, we'll be finished for this episode. I gotta get to bed too, man. I'm tired. It's been a good day though. Um, can we just kind of push this a little bit? Oh yeah, not a problem. I don't remember how much fertilizer I have left in the spreader. Hopefully we have enough to where I don't have to buy some of that. Tractor dirty. Been doing work, man. Okay. Oh, we have no fertilizer in here. <laughs> okay. Well, um, that is this. For, I think this is fertilizer, actually. Yeah, this is fertilizer. Yep, it is. Okay. I'm not sure how much. Not very much. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely not going to be enough. So let's just get another one. Uh, we want big bags and fertilizer. Okay. We can probably do this in one pass. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I could have I could have fertilized at the same time as I seeded, but more more than likely the fertilizer would have ran out a lot quicker than the seed, and I would have had to come back and keep reloading it. And I figured, nah, let's not mess with that. Let's just do this. Okay, we're no, we're not going to get this in one pass. We'll probably get it. In, we'll, we'll be able to get it in two though. So. I'm thinking we probably want to start right about here-ish. Let's check the map and see. Uh, we want to go back to... Ooh. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, this says zero fertilizer, so or fertilized. When we get to the border, it should say 50%. Well, 28% anyway. All right, so... This will be the one and only time we have to fertilize... Um, well, I, I guess we'll say directly fertilize the field because <clears throat> after this, we'll just, we'll just roll it from this point forward. Uh, meadow roll it. So yeah, let's just start here. I'm I'm probably going to overlap a little. Well, actually, we can probably get back over this way a little more. Probably going to overlap it a little bit, but I'd rather do that than not, you know, do it enough. Okay, so we're at maximum spread width. Okay, let's do this.
You know, we... Uh, well, yeah, I think we'll have enough fertilizer. It's going to be close, actually. Okay, we can stop it right there. And then probably want to start right about here. I know the stuff all the way to the right doesn't need it, but I'm just going to hit it all. This little section uh, out here was originally grass, so it's already 50% fertilized, so I'm not worried about that. And likewise, all that stuff over there is too. We really just want to hit where the original field was over here. So, yeah. All right, let's go. Just wrap it around and come this way. And then we're kind of swinging it out this way. Okay, now let's go down to a smaller swath here. Probably to there. Okay, I'm pretty sure that covers the field, the original field. Um, there was some grass here, but not a ton. But let's just give that a squirt. And maybe hit this here, too. Because there wasn't a whole lot between the edge of this field and the road here. There was some, but not a ton. So let's just... Kind of squirt it and and go well there okay I think that's good if I didn't get it a hundred percent I got it probably 98 percent which is good enough for grass so yeah rolling is the next thing we'll do but like I said we're gonna have to do that in the next episode guys because I have got to go to bed I'm a tired old guy Got work tomorrow again. Uh, nothing over here needs to be fertilized. Well, actually, part of this was the road, wasn't it? Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just hit it. Uh, but we can shrink that down a little bit. And there was a little bit of road over here, too. So just kind of right through this area. But there was no road up past here. That was all grass, so that means that's already fertilized. Okay, I think that's good enough. This time, I really do think that's good enough. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, it is still July 2nd, and uh, I did I, I edited the first part of this video and realized it was a little bit sh on the short side for you know my normal videos, which are usually a little bit on the long side. <laughs> and so I figured we would tack the rolling on to the end of this episode. Uh, it is, however, the next day for me in real life. Not that that really matters to you guys, but uh, yeah, it is. So uh, what we're going to do is I picked up a roller on Mod Hub that's uh, quite a bit less expensive than, you know, the one that's in the base game. Um, and supposedly, from what the description said, this roller is also able to be both a, field, a soil roller and a grassland roller at the same time. And if that's the case... Um, we'll probably end up buying it just because we have to roll grass every single time, you know, we cut our hay. And all I have right now is just that little dinky roller. 
Uh, so if it can, in fact, do both of those things, then it's probably going to be worth it for, worth it for us to purchase. So so this is basically um, a, a Gutler. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, Gutler Mayer roller. It has a working width of 6.4 meters. And um, it uh, again, it said in the mod description that this is capable of being both a grassland roller and also a soil roller. So I'll tell you what, why don't we, how much does it cost to lease? 725 bucks. See, I, I, I'm going to just buy it because I don't want to lease it for 700 bucks and then turn around and buy it. And if it doesn't work as both of those, it'll work as at least one of those. And then I'll have it, you know, for next time. And it's, you know, it's not that expensive. This is going to take almost half of our money though. So, hmm. Nah, let's lease it. <laughs> let's lease it for now. Uh, but I probably, if if I like it and it does, uh, you know, works as advertised, I probably will eventually um, actually purchase it. I don't, I don't want to blow half my money on that, actually, now that I think a little bit more about that. Okay, so it looks like the, they put it over here by the barn. Uh, man, like, they put it right up against the barn. You know what? I don't think I don't think we need the rest of this stuff. Let's just return it and uh, get it out of here. So yeah, cedar can go. Fertilizer spreader, mulcher, and front loader tool. Okay. Yeah, let's just get that stuff out out of there. Hey, what the heck is that? That looks like stones left over from the stone picker. Huh. Um, can I... Can I paint over that? Yep. Okay. That was weird. Looks like it's gone. All right, so let's see. Do we? Yeah, I think we connect to it right here. It, it it looks to me like a a soil roller not so much a metal land roller though all right well I don't have any more uh, grass to roll as we already took care of all that So this is not going to be quite as wide as the base game one, but considerably cheaper, like massively cheaper. The base game one, I think, would cost us over $2,000 to lease. This one was only $700. All right, let's take a look at the controls here. So unfold. All right, that's a decent working width. It's, you know, not terrible. Not quite as good, like I said, as the other one, but much more affordable okay let's lower it down and get the field rolled actually before we completely take off here let's just do this first little strip and I just want to make sure that it shows actually shows uh, as being rolled okay so if we go here and look at our fields here yeah okay so it, it does yeah it does show that we that has legit rolled um, over that part of the field so it definitely works as a soil roller 
Um, and, and, but again, here again, I'd like to te also test it as a grassland roller before I actually, you know, perch. Whoops, uh, purchase it or something. All right, let's do some rolling. Here we go. All right, guys, we are pretty much done with the rolling, but let's take a look at the map and make sure I didn't miss any major spots here. We'll let it update. That looks pretty good. Uh, we got uh, just a little spot there and one right on the edge. Everything over here looks, looks really good. All right, so let's go hit that spot over here. Uh, in fact, I can see it from here. It's that just that little dark strip right there. Right here. Okay. And then, so that should go away. And then right next to our tractor on the very edge. Oops. Let's try that again. Yeah, this is a nice little roller. Decently wide to where it doesn't take all day to do this, but way less expensive than the base game roller. I don't know exactly where that spot was, but I think we... Did we get it? Yep, we got it. Okay. There's a couple spots right on the very edge there, but honestly, I'm not too worried about that. So, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, our fields are prepped. Let's see what it says. So yeah, if we look at this, we get um, it's fifty percent fertilized, which we might be able to throw. We might be able to throw another um, application of fertilizer on this once the grass starts growing. It seems to me like I tried that the last time I, the very first time I planted grass, and it didn't work correctly. But maybe it will. Uh, but otherwise, with all the other stuff we've done, we get a 75% yield bonus. Now, keep in mind, this is a brand new field, so it's going to be much better after the first cutting because then it's going to have that extra layer of fertilization. Uh, like, for example, if you look here, we got a 97% yield bonus, and it's 98% fertilized, and that's because it was originally grass um, to give it that first stage of fertilizer, and then we also applied um, some of our own. But when the grass does start growing, I'll, I'll come out here and, and squirt a little bit of furt on it. Get squirt, squirt some furt <laughs> on it and see if that, um, if it works. If it doesn't, we just won't worry about it for the first time around. We know we'll be able to get 100% fertilization uh, after the first cutting be because we'll, you know, we can achieve that by rolling. So yeah, I like this roller. If it does indeed also work for grassland, um, which I won't really know until it's time to do that again then I might end up actually purchasing it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. So tomorrow on July the 3rd, we will have produce to sell. We'll have eggs to sell. Um, and probably... Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Did we check for those other contracts? Oh, I must have already done them. Yeah, we must have already done this uh, for those other two fields. 
This has been one long uh, two in-game days for me. I, I've probably recorded like 10 episodes just on July 1st and 2nd. We've done so much work. It's crazy. It's awesome though too, <laughs> but it's crazy. So I feel like a, like I'm almost in a time warp or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be sell produce, sell eggs, and that's probably all we can do. Um, and then we'll go into August, which will be a new month for us, and we will figure out the next thing. Uh, we're going to have to just sit on our cornfield until at least October, so we can't do anything more with that particular field. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Why do I keep watching this? We're done watching it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.